So how can you make money on YouTube without even making videos? I make over $1,000 a day on YouTube without making any of my own content. My name's Matt Parr and I run nine different YouTube channels, eight of which I don't even make any content for, including the channel that got me this gold play button for hitting over a million subscribers. I make around $30,000 a month just from YouTube monetization, so how can you do what I do without having to create any of your own videos. Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to be going over the exact steps that you need to take to start making money on YouTube without even making videos. And plus, on top of that, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. I'm gonna show you example channels doing this, how you can best monetize your channels, and most importantly, how you can actually start generating content from scratch. And trust me, I know that sounds like a paradox. You're probably thinking, how do I make money on YouTube without making videos, but then you're saying that I can generate content? I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean in this video and exactly how you can do what I do. But first, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a YouTube channel or watched a YouTube video in which the person in it didn't even show their face. Now more likely than not, the answer to that question is probably yes, but you probably didn't know the potential of how much these channels could be making. And the truth is that some of these channels are making a lot more money than you probably think. Now you might be saying, Matt, I don't believe you, I need an example. Well, here's a channel called Brainy Dose with over a million subscribers, they get six million views per month and they could be making between one and $24,000 a month and that's just from ad revenue. And the most crazy thing is that the owner of this channel doesn't even show their face on the channel or have to get behind a camera whatsoever. So now let me go over the exact steps on how you can do this. Step number one is to choose a niche. Now some of the best profitable niches out there are luxury channels, financial channels, scary stories channels, meditation channels, psychology channels, technology channels, top 10 channels, and animal channels. Now for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use psychology channels as an example. So step number two is to make a list of 33 different YouTube video ideas. Now this ties into the 33 rule, which states that you typically wanna see some type of traction after uploading about 33 videos on YouTube. And I always look for at least one of my videos getting some traction and getting a significant amount of views within the first 33 videos, and if not, it'll still give us data on what to double down on, what's working, what's not, cut out what's not working, and double down on what is working. So you might be saying, where am I gonna find 33 different YouTube video ideas? Now one of the best ways of doing it is to go to already popular channels in your niche to get ideas. Let me give you an example. So since we chose psychology channels for the example of this niche, let's say that we were to create a psychology channel called Psychology Serpent. And let's say that our goal was to grow this imaginary channel as fast as possible and to start making money on that channel as fast as possible. Now I know someone out there is probably gonna start a channel called Psychology Serpent if it hasn't been made already. But regardless, let's jump on my computer here so I can show you an example of doing this. So what you're gonna wanna do is to go to already popular psychology channels just like this. This channel is called Practical Psychology it has 1.8 million subscribers and they just do videos like the four best things to do in your free time. Now what you wanna do is to go to channels like this, go to their video section right here and sort their videos by their most popular videos to their least popular videos. You wanna look at their most popular videos first and recreate those videos in your own way. So when you're making your list of 33 different video ideas, Go to popular channels like this and get your ideas this way. This is so much better than just thinking of stuff off the top of your head because this is already proven content that's proven to do good. And you might be saying, Matt, but how are we gonna actually get traffic to these videos? And the way we do that is by getting into the suggested video feeds of already popular videos and getting that traffic onto our videos, therefore making us money on YouTube. So go through channels in your niche, just like Practical Psychology right here, for our imaginary channel, Psychology Serpent, 
and then go check out some more channels like this one improvement pill with 2 million subscribers go through their most popular videos here's another one called 1% better and you'll notice a lot of these channels are producing like these whiteboard animation type videos which are actually not that hard to make and you can use cheap softwares just like videoscribe.co now videoscribe does have a free trial but after that they're actually $35 a month which can be a lot of money if you're just starting out doing this. So I'm gonna show you an even better way of going about doing this that's completely free. But first, let's go over a couple more channels. Here's another channel called Productivity Game with 345,000 subscribers. And here's that channel that I was telling you guys about called Brainy Dose. And as you can see, Brainy Dose gets a lot of views and they could potentially be making a lot of money. And the thing about Brainy Dose is that their videos are literally a collection of stock videos compiled in their own way with the voiceover done on top of the videos and made in their own way. So for example, they produce videos like people who like to be alone have these 12 special personality traits, 6.8 million views on this video right here. And right about now, you're probably saying, Matt, these videos have to be incredibly hard to make. I mean, in order to get 6.8 million views, you probably need a really good editor and don't stock videos cost money to buy? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this for completely free and actually walk you through an example of doing this. So once you've gone through channels like Brainy Dose and other channels that are in your niche and you have your list of 33 different YouTube video ideas, now it's time for step three, which is generating content. Now there's two ways of going about doing this. Way number one is if you have more money than time. If you already have money to start, you can pay other people to make the videos for you and that's actually what I do within my YouTube operation. I pay other people to make the videos for me and that's how I'm able to run nine different YouTube channels, eight of which I don't even show my face. The only work I do in those channels is coming up with video ideas and uploading the finished videos. And option number two is if you have more time than money, then you can generate the videos yourself from the start, which is what I'm gonna show you exactly how to do right here. Now, whatever option you choose, you're going to get a ton of value from the rest of this video right here. So let's say, for example, we were to model one of Brainy Dose's videos titled How to Read Anyone Instantly, 18 Psychological Tips. As you can see, this video is a year old and it's got 5.7 million views. And the thumbnail is just like an outline of a person's face with some text on top of the thumbnail. And if you watch their videos, they're literally just different stock clips throughout the video with someone doing a voiceover on top of the video. So step number one is to write a script for our video. Don't just steal other people's scripts and don't just steal content from the web. Instead, you're gonna wanna write it in your own words, which really doesn't take too much time. And I've actually started an example script on my computer that I'm gonna show you right now. So here's a script right here. And our title is how to read anyone with these six psychological tricks. Now notice how we didn't just use the same exact title as Brainy Dose's video right here. We're using a completely different title and we're making the content unique to our video. So here's how I like to structure the scripts. First, you start with a hook to get people hooked onto watching the videos. And then you go through the actual content for the video. Here's an example that I quickly wrote out right here. Here's the hook. So you start the video in the first five seconds by saying something that's gonna grab the viewer's attention. For this example, we say, you will not believe how easy it is to read almost anyone with these six psychological tricks. Number one is especially strange, but the crazy thing is, it actually works. So make sure to watch until the end of the video to watch number one and how it actually works. So you see, our goal with the hook is to hook people in into watching as much of the video as possible, ideally watching until that number one tip that we're gonna be going over. And then we go over the intro for the channel. Now this basically stays consistent across all your videos, but for this example, we're gonna be saying something along the lines of, welcome to Psychology Serpent, we make psychological videos, so if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get straight into the video. Just something along the lines of that will get more subscribers and you'll get a higher subscriber to view ratio, making it easier to get those first initial subscribers on your channel. And then it's time to go into the content. So for this example, we just go over our number six tip. So we say, tip number six, look at their eyes. You can tell if a person is hiding something by how they're positioning their eyes. If their eyes are closed, it means they're trying to hide something from the world. 
This can be either conscious or subconscious, meaning they don't even know they're doing it. So then we just go through the rest of their content. We go through all the six tips that we're gonna be going over in this video. And you might be saying, Matt, that's great. I can write a script, but I don't have any fancy microphone to actually record my voiceover. Now you can literally just use your phone for doing this. Funny story, when I started out on YouTube, I literally just used this crappy iPhone with all kinds of cracks in the screen. I would record voiceovers, but I got to the point of making $9,000 a month when I was still in school. This was more money than my parents, more money than my friends, and you can literally just use your phone when you're starting. Or if you wanted to spend a little bit of money on a microphone, I recommend the Blue Yeti Nano. And if you're recording on your phone, simply record the voiceover within your voice memo app or your voice recorder app that generally comes standard on most Android and Apple devices. And if you're recording on a computer, I recommend a completely free program called Audacity. You can simply go to audacityteam.org to download Audacity for completely free for both Mac and Windows. So now that you got your script written and you have your voiceover done, now it's time to edit your content. And you're probably saying, well, how am I supposed to edit my content without spending an arm and a leg on some expensive video editing software like Adobe Premiere or After Effects? Well, you can do it with a completely free editor called OpenShot. Simply go to openshot.org to download OpenShot for completely free. And don't worry, there's tons of completely free tutorials out there on YouTube that'll show you exactly how to use OpenShot. And then it's time to get content to actually use within your videos. And you might be saying, well, doesn't stock footage and stock pictures, don't they cost money? There's actually free places that you can go to to get content for completely free. And the places that I recommend are both pixabay.com and pexels.com. So here's what pixabay.com looks like right here. And let's say, for example, we wanted to find a video of a person smiling. All we have to type in on Pixabay is smile right here. Like, let's say this is just for like some type of psychology video that we're gonna be uploading on our channel. If we search smile, as you can see, tons of pictures of people smiling right here that you can use for completely free. But let's say you wanted a video that you could use. All you simply have to do is choose from this dropdown and select videos. And take a look at this. There's literally videos of people smiling for completely free that you can use. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to use this video right here. We simply click the video right here. As you can see, here's a video. And then we just go to this green button right here to download it. And we can download the video for completely free to either our computer or our phone. You can do this from either a computer or a phone. And there's tons of free editing apps as well out there for both Android and Apple. Now, if you did want access to more videos that you can legally use without copyright, another place you can go to is something called storyblocks.com. If you go to storyblocks.com slash video, there's tons of different videos, thousands upon thousands of videos in the member library, and it costs $29 a month to be a member of Storyblocks. And the great thing about Storyblocks too is the fact that there's tons of different like animation videos on Storyblocks as well. But don't worry, you can get started for completely free with both Pixabay and Pexels.com. So now let me walk you through exactly how to edit your videos. So all you have to do is open OpenShot right here, and it looks something like this. This can look a little bit complicated, but don't worry, it's actually incredibly easy. All you have to do is drag your clips that you've downloaded from Pexels. I downloaded a bunch of completely free videos from Pexels that relate to the video. And remember, our video title is how to read anyone with these six psychological tricks. So all we have to do is drag our videos onto the timeline right here, like let's drag this one right here for the beginning video. And then after that, let's say that we wanted to play this video right here. And then you can also make the video shorter just by dragging them on the timeline right here. And then let's say we wanted to put this video after that, and then this one. And then also, you're going to want your audio file for your voiceover in the editor as well. And all you have to do is simply drag that audio file onto the timeline right below these video clips. And remember, our video starts off with, you will not believe how easy it can be to read anyone with these six psychological tricks. Number one is especially strange, but it actually works. So all we have to do is find clips that correspond to what we're saying throughout the video, and we can put these clips onto the timeline and make these videos super simply. You can easily make a new video every single day doing this method. And like I said, if you didn't wanna make the videos yourself, you can pay other people on platforms like fiverr.com to make the videos for you. What I recommend doing is making a video creation assembly line. Now here's what that is. 
It starts with you, who comes up with the video idea, and then you give it to a script writer that you can hire on places like Fiverr, who then writes a script. I recommend about 1,800 words long for the script. And always make sure to check the scripts through a service called copyscape.com as well, just to make sure that they're 100% unique and that you don't have to worry about copyright. And then they give the script to a voiceover artist. And the voiceover artist, again, you can find on Fiverr for very cheap. And then the voiceover artist gives the voiceover to the video editor. You can either edit the videos yourself or hire someone. Again, you can hire on Fiverr. And then they give the finished video to the thumbnail designer. And the thumbnail designer makes a thumbnail for your video, which is the cover image for your video. And then they finally give it back to you. And then you get the finished video. And all you have to do in this entire process is come up with video ideas and upload and optimize the finished videos. Now you might be saying, Matt, I know nothing about optimizing YouTube videos. Wouldn't it just be a waste of time if I do this whole process and don't get any views and make any money? And yes, it would be a waste of time, but I'm going to make sure that you're not wasting your time with YouTube. And that brings us into step three, which is uploading and optimizing our videos. So the way we want to actually upload our videos is uploading about one video a day. If you can upload daily, that's actually what I recommend. But if not, then you're going to want to upload three videos a week. And if you can't do that, then you'll do one video a week. But the more videos that you can upload, then the more at bats, so to speak, that you have and the more chances you have for one of your videos getting a lot of views. Now, you don't want to just rely on chance for your videos to get a lot of views. You want to actually optimize your videos as well. And that's why I recommend a software called vidIQ. You guys can check out vidIQ at the link below if you're interested. And vidIQ will help you a ton in optimizing your videos correctly. And also, you're going to want to make sure that your videos have a compelling thumbnail so people want to click on them. So I recommend completely free softwares like Canva, Snappa, and Paint.net for making your thumbnails really good. And also, if you want more tips and tricks on how to exactly optimize your videos to get as many views as possible, check out some of the videos on my YouTube channel right here. I give out a ton of free information that you can take advantage of. But real quick, in this video, let me go over some bonus tips and some bonus secrets on how you can make the most amount of money doing this, how you don't have to wait to be monetized or anything like that. Now, before we get into the bonus tips, Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you feel like I've given you value so far, and also smash that like button. Now let's get into the bonus tips. Bonus tip number one is monetizing before you're monetized. Now you might be confused thinking, how can I monetize before I'm monetized on YouTube? Isn't the only way to make money on YouTube to put ads on my videos? Now that is not the only way. There's tons of different ways that you can monetize on YouTube. And yes, while you are right that you do have to wait to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to get into the YouTube Partner Program where YouTube will put ads on your videos and you'll make money from those ads, even though that's a great source of revenue for me, I personally make over $30,000 a month doing that. There's actually ways that you can monetize before being monetized. And one of those, is by doing affiliate marketing, where you promote other people's products and get paid a commission for every single sale that you make. Now, you might be saying, well, how do I promote these products? All you have to do is put the links to these products in both the description and the pinned comment section of all of your YouTube videos. And a great places to find these are both clickbank.com and digistore24.com. In fact, I even have a product on Digistore24 that people can promote and get paid a commission for every single sale that they get. But for the purpose of this example, since we're talking about psychology channels, let's go to ClickBank right here and see if there's any good products for us to promote in this niche. All we have to do is to go down to self-help right here and as you can see, there's tons of different self-help offers that you can promote and get paid a commission for every single sale that you make. Here's one where you'll get paid $60 for every single sale that you make. Bonus tip number two is to make videos that are longer than eight minutes. Now, I recommend producing content that's longer than 10 minutes, but the reason I say eight minutes is due to the fact that not only will you get a higher amount of watch time and therefore YouTube will promote your videos more, but also, because you can put multiple ad breaks on your video when you are monetized and make multiples of the amount of money that you would otherwise make from ad revenue on your videos. I recommend putting an ad about every two minutes throughout your video and at the beginning and end of your video. And bonus tip number three is to look at your analytics and to analyze and optimize 
based off of what's working. So after you've uploaded your 33 different YouTube videos, uploading one video a day, then you're going to want to look at your analytics and see what they say. Now you might be asking, well, what are the benchmarks that I'm supposed to look for? I recommend looking for at least a 60% average view duration on your videos and at least a 6% click through rate. If you can hit both of these benchmarks, it's very likely that you're going to go viral on YouTube. So I hope you got a ton of value from this free video. Comment down below if you're gonna do this method, but be careful, don't give out your channel names because people will copy your channels. Now check out this video to see an exact example channel and an exact case study of actually doing this. You'll see an exact niche, one of the best niches to do this in, and it's a really weird niche, but you're gonna get a ton of value from this video right here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. My name is Matt Parr, and I'll see you in the next video.